Welcome back to ITP 115. In this video, we're going to talk about string processing. As we learn, the input function in Python captures whatever the user types in and returns a string to us. So when we want to capture a number, we need to wrap or convert that string to a number with this in function. For example, we ask the user for their age. The input function returns a string, and we can convert that string using the in function and store the int value in our age variable. What if the user doesn't type in an, a number? What if they type in the word 20 instead of the two digits, two and zero? In this example, the in function doesn't know how to convert the word 20 to a number, so it's going to give us an error. To prevent the conversion errors, we can do some checking before converting. In Python, we have a few supported methods for a string object. Suppose my string is a string variable holding a string value. It could be ITP or it could be 115. The function is our num gonna return true for the string ITP because that string contains letters and number. Same thing, the is alpha gonna return true for the string ITP. Whereas, the is digit gonna return true for the string 115. The is base return true only when the string contains y spaces only. Now let's go back to the example with our age variable. We wanna check if the input contains digits only. So when this entire condition is true, meaning that there are some non-digit characters in here, we're going to keep asking the user to retype their age. When this entire condition is invalid, meaning that each digit is now true, meaning that the age string contains only digits, we now can exit the while loop and can safely convert a string to a real number with the int function. We have another two functions or method to check for strings. Ends with check if the string ends with a certain value, and star with check if the string begins with a certain value. We can also search within a string. Count, gonna return a number of times a value appears in the string. Both the file and index will return the index of the first occurrence of the value. However, when the value is not found, phi will return minus one, whereas the index is going to raise an exception. Here are the functions that we saw previously in our class. These functions return a copy of the string with some modification. The upper function returns the uppercase version of the string. The lower function returns the lowercase version of the string. The capitalize will return the entire string with the first letter in the uppercase. And the title function gonna change the first letter of each word of the string. Here are two new methods. Strip will remove all the leading and trailing spaces. For example, we have S1 and we have a tab in front and a few new lines at the end. We're gonna convert S1 to S2 through the strip function. S2 will now have both the leading and trailing spaces removed. Note that we didn't touch the Y spaces in the middle. Strip only removes the beginning and the ending Y spaces. It doesn't do anything to the Y spaces in the middle. How about the replace function? Replace basically just change whatever the text base to the text time. So our S3 now have the content change and replace. 